standard procedure. She bad with the features. She bad, this a misdemeanor. Sick with it, I might catch a fever. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and select all so that i'm not bank the new exclusive video will definitely be notified so jang jilei one of the top heavyweight um in the world right now on planet earth this guy right here is 40 or 41 um recently had a huge win over onto the bronze over water stopping him in a very devastating fashion him and joshua have an history um they've met before at the olympics it was an interesting fight first three rounder but intense three rounder jandali was younger than fresher looked more jacked however um joshua Got the better of John Jolie E and um, dro even dropped. But let's get to John Jolie E's statement right here regarding Joshua, saying that Joshua would never fight him. We know that John Jolie e was once signed to Matchroom Boxing and stuff like that in in hopes of getting Joshua fight. John Jolie e, no doubt, is a dangerous guy and a threat to anyone. But I don't think. He beats Joshua. So if I analyze this right here, let's hear from him. Um, Jared, the big baby Anderson, uh, did say recently that Jantley fought on, on down a fight against him. And um, yeah, let's hear from him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. By the way, credit to um. MMA fight, uh, f uh, MMA fight on uh, SBN. I really want to do the job. You know. I said, "You, you, 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 我不会再去回过头来去去打一个新秀。嗯, mm. yeah, Jerry Anderson is a great fighter. I give him nothing but respect, and he has he has done his done this in his way. And um, you know, so far in my position, I'm looking to fight for the title. And Jerry Anderson is a great pro prospect, and I'm looking to I'm not looking to fight a prospect right now. I'm looking to fight the tough guys out there. Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk. I'm looking for a championship. I'm not looking to fight a prospect. Okay. Um, so the information he heard was accurate. You, you respectfully declined. Is that is that fair to say? Yeah. Because I'm aiming for higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were you disappointed? Uh, did you think there was a chance maybe that you would get the AJ fight? Once Hergovic lost that same night to Daniel Dubois, did you think there was a chance maybe they would go with you versus AJ? for that IBF title because of course you have a history with AJ dating back to the 2012 Olympics. 开始然后就一直在吵吵作这个话题然后一直吵到现在然后他也不可能给我打让我想打但是他不会给我打为什么他想他想打强的你想他打强的你想他打的对手对吗哪敢弄从UFC过来的然后还有那个何牛斯然后
my managers right there. They flew to London and I got words. So I don't think he's going to find me. Look at his po pre previous opponents. Francis Ngannou from UFC, Robert Hernanias, and I don't think he has what it takes to stand up against me. But he's, the way he picks his opponent says a lot about it. Wow. So you don't think... Well, I, I would say I respectfully disagree. John Jolie, Joshua would fight you any day, anywhere, anytime if you have something he needs. Remember, last time you guys met was in 2012 Olympic and you have and you had something that he needed because he was on his way on his way to glory. Well, when you guys met, he dropped you. He had pointed you. He won that fight. Yes, it was an intense fight. It was very competitive in the way. It was not one sided at all. But what I learned that day is that Joshua can drop you. Same way you might be able to drop Joshua, no doubt, because you've got the power. I don't think Joshua will allow you to, to do a lot too much. Because Joshua is just as powerful as you, if not more powerful. And if Joshua drops you, you would get hurt and stay hurt. You are 41 years old now, 41 years old. Um, your gas tank is no longer there. Of course, we see, we've, listen, you've achieved a lot at despite being 41 at your old age and stuff like that i have to credit you that but i don't think joshua looks at you as okay this guy is unbeatable or not you guys have met before a way a well um drilled joshua mentally physically and skill wise would you know beat you any day any time but he's not gonna be easy um, Ward, uh, Joshua is not Deontay Wada. He doesn't rely on just his power to beat somebody, or his right hand, or his left, hand, or his uppercut. No. Every Joshua, every Joshua punches are mean. But I like Jandili. I think he's good for the sport. You know, yes, he did sign with Eddie Hearn to try to get a Joshua fight, which didn't happen. Yeah, man, it's just one of those things that happen. It's boxing. Well, I don't think you should say, yeah, just get of it. Not a chance. I think he'll ever fight you. No chance. Neither does Eddie. They don't want it. He's the cash cow for Eddie. Um, when you were with Matchroom, was it ever close? Did you ever think you were close to getting it? When you were with Matchroom, was it ever close to getting it? Yojiwa the closest time we got the deal done was after uh, AJ lost to Usyk and I lost to Philip Herkovich in Saudi Arabia. And my managers got an invitation. My managers went to flew to London to talk to them and got a no. Hmm. What was the reason? I don't know. <laughs> and, and, and so I, I, could, I could see maybe someone saying, well, okay, well, why would he not want to fight you? He did, he did beat you in the Olympics. So what would he be sort of worried about or not want to run it back if he got the win. What's your response to that? Then I don't I don't know why. Mm. I don't have a reason. That that's his problem. But if he ever wants to fight, you know I mean well Jangeli, you give him one thing. This guy is a warrior. Like he doesn't talk anyone. He doesn't. But the thing is that, does he have what Joshua need? Does he have that? He, at the moment, he doesn't. And that's just fact. So, how does he get to that level? He needs to uh, change something. You know. You need to like have something that Joshua would. That will motivate you to fight you because you can just fight you for nothing. 
just while he's fighting, for example, Dubois for something. There's a big risk there. And I think uh, Jean Delay also said that uh, he said that uh, Dubois would be talking to Joshua and stuff like that. That um, he believed Dubois would be Joshua. Yeah, at this point, are you just being a hater or anti Joshua because of what he hand did? Because you sent you sent with Matrum with the mindset, the possibility of okay, I will get the Joshua fight and did it happen or was was what was gonna write here? There's been a lot made of the new AJ, the sort of um, revived AJ, especially now with Ben Davison. He's on this great run going into this fight. Have you been impressed? Do you think that he's a different man, a different fighter? Do you see any sort of changes in him? Yeah. Yeah, maybe people say he's back. He, he knocked out Nagano in two rounds. He he beat uh, Robert Hellenius. He knocked him out and uh, he fought Jermaine Franklin. Yes, Otto Valin as well. Otto Valin. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, he's back. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can't say he's back until I met him in the ring and tested with my fist. Mm. Do you think he beats Dubois? Do you think he beats Dubois? I don't know. Then he's going to win. Then he's going to win. Then he's going to it's, it's hard to say. It's really a difficult question. Uh, let's see what their training camp looks like and what mm. their preparation looks like. Dubois is on the rise. He's, he's fantastic and uh, he has something to prove. Uh, so I think he might be a better performance on that night. Wow. So you, so you give him a chance. You give him a solid chance to, to pull off the upset, Dubois. Mm. So you think Dubois will be able to win a black belt? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I agree. Now I really want to see this fight. I want to see this rematch. Are you going to go to Wembley and you should sit in the front row and put some pressure on him? Are you going to do that? Okay, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yes, I think it's a good idea. Okay, okay. good. Uh, are you going to the uh, the card? In well, <clears throat> you heard it, guys. Um, John Lee has his opinion. No doubt Dubois can, can beat Joshua. Like, it's every division, anything can happen. But do I see it happening this current Joshua? I don't know, man. It's difficult. It's not, it's not impossible because at the end of the day, nobody thought like Ruiz Jr. was going to be Andy Joshua. Nobody thought that. We see, we saw Ruiz Jr. like fast hands and stuff like that. But we never thought that he would be Joshua. But he did. Okay? That's what happens. You lose, you lose some, you win some. However, with the current state and mindset of Joshua, that is going to be difficult. And that's right. Stay blessed, guys. God bless you all. Uh,